So I have a bit of a confession to make. I know that these are incredibly hated cars, but I kind of have a soft spot for the PT Cruiser. If nothing else, but for the hot rod style builds that we see of them sometimes that I think are actually quite cool. And so that is why today we are in GTA 5 checking out this right here. This is the Shyster Compact Wagon, which is based on the Chrysler PT Cruiser. And I thought we'd check this out, we'll see what we can do with this, check out the mods, do a couple of builds or something like that. And I don't know, maybe I'll try and convince you guys that these can actually be pretty cool. Now to start with, I will say that the styling of this is already kind of hot roddy. These rear lights are definitely a lot more hot rod-esque than the original lights of the PT Cruiser. So we're already on to a good start here, I feel. And well, as I'm sure most of you guys would probably prefer seeing these cars in a scrapyard, I figured we'd use this as the setting for today's video. And actually, admittedly, I'm sure if I drove a PT Cruiser, I probably too would want to see one in a scrapyard. First of all, that is amazing fitment. We will be fixing that. We will be putting on something a bit bigger than bike tires that are on this right now. These are the wheels off the uh, Della Tente, or however you say that. So this is the compact wagon shyster. There's the shyster logo. There's the shyster on the front. And as you can see, mostly from the front and this uh, side profile here, you can see the resemblance to the Chrysler PT Cruiser. So basically, with everything open, we have a boot, which is just a boot. We have our interior. There's our rear. There's our front. All the interior is taken from other cars already made for GTA 5. And then we have our engine bay, which again is just using assets already in the game. So let's go and check out some parts for this thing. So on the spoiler, we have the options of the stock, the split window, and I mean, you could probably see where this is gonna go. The oval window. This is basically like old air-cooled inspired, like old Volkswagen Beetles. I think I've said in the past, I like the Beetles that had the oval and the split oval. Oh, look at that. I mean, not sure how much it goes with this car. Oh, we can make it into like a van thing maybe, I guess. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so this is very like old air-cooled Volkswagen style. I do like these on Beetles. Not entirely sure how I feel about them being on a PT Cruiser, but it is a bit fun. I kind of want to go for that privacy window. I kind of want to see where that goes. So I'm going to go for the privacy window. So on the front bumper, we have a lot of options here. We have the front. We have the removed front, which leaves some really interesting things here. Hopefully we can smooth those out. Then we have the painted version. We have painted one with trim. Ah, I see. I see. There's a tiny little work uh, chrome trim. Not too sure on that one. We have the chrome version with trim. We have the classic bumper. This is going into some more classic and hot rod style stuff. Okay, here we go. Smooth bumper. Smooth bumper with trim would be nice if we can get rid of that front number plate. Oh, okay. We have the tuner front. We have the sport front, which isn't so bad. Then we have sport front V2, which turns him into a really happy chappy. Oh, I might have to do... Oh, and, and one. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely... I hate it so much. But I like faces. Sometimes if it's going to be goofy teeth like that, you really have to know what you're doing. Um, is this going to be a goofy happy one to start with? I don't know where this is going to go. So let's start off with a goofy happy one because I do want to go for a hot rod style build, but that might be for another build later on in the video. On the rear bumpers, we have the stock. We have the removed. Interesting that we have the removed that has these like imprints things still here. It's interesting that they decided to go for that and also give us the option for the smooth. I'm not quite sure where this would work in a build, but I like the idea. Then we have the painted version. We have that with the uh, trim bits on the side again. Then we have that in chrome with the trim. We have the classic rear bumper. Then we have the smooth rear bumper. Oh, that actually looks really cool. We like that. Yeah, I like that. We also have that with the trim. We then have the tuna rear bumper. And then we have the sport rear bumper. I actually don't mind that sport rear bumper also works really nicely with this one as well. But I think I'm going to go with the smooth rear bumper. On the skirts, we have the stock. We have the fit. Oh, okay. was not expecting that. We have the fender skirts. We have the classic steps. We have the steps and skirt. We have the basic step. 
there. We have loads of different combinations here with the fender skirts. Ah. It's, a, it's an odd look, but I might have to go for this on the first one. We also have the tuna skirts and the sport skirts. Yeah, I... Okay. I want to go for the classic steps with the fender like that. Then on the chassis we have... Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay. I might, I think there's three builds that I have in mind that we're going to have to do in this video. This is actually, I love the versatility of this. There's definitely many different avenues we can go with this car. Oh, and then we have the panel van conversion. Okay, panel van conversion, just blank off all the things. Blank off the wheels, blank off the windows. Yeah, I'm liking that. Very, very smooth. Very cool. Then on the grill, we have the options of the uh, horizontal grill, well, the stock grill, the horizontal grill, the vertical grill, which does not match with this one. It's definitely a horizontal grill car. Then we have that with chrome surrounds. Then we uh, have that one as well. We also have the remove grill, the chrome surround remove grill, the one with mesh, a split grill for another retro style look, and then a chrome split grill. Uh, I mean, this one's fine, like the stock grill. The uh, vert horizontal one here is good. That horizontal one here is good. Oh, what do I do? I mean, for some reason, this starts to look like a London cab almost as soon as you get rid of all of the slats. I don't know why. Actually, you know what? I said that the vertical grills don't match, but it does have its own unique style going on here. So I'm actually going to go for the chrome surround vertical grill. Then on the hood, we have the chrome hood pinstripe. We have the vented hood and the scooped hood. I think, actually, this one's kind of... I don't know which direction this is going. Actually, I know where this is going. I'm going to go stock hood. I'm going to go for the uh, non-chrome. Is there a non-chrome? Is there a painted version of it? Wait, there isn't one. Even the center ones on this still have chrome. Oh, I kind of wished it didn't. I kind of wish we had, like, this one's painted. I kind of wish that one of these was painted too. Okay, I'm going to go with the split grill on this one then. I've decided I don't want chrome, which is now making me rethink the skirts. There's also option for chrome trim and stuff here, but I'm going to go with no as well as these stripes here. I'm going to go with no on the chrome. Then here we have deflectors, which I guess aren't going to work with the panel van look. We also have the front deflectors if you have the panel van option. And then we have the chrome ones. I'm fine with the deflectors. The deflectors are fine. We also have the options of a classic roof rack or one with bags. I mean, it's a big van. I feel like we don't need the roof rack. We'll upgrade the engine and stuff because, I mean, I wouldn't mind this being quick. On the suspension, we have some decent drop. Decent drop. That is a massive slam. We have a couple of extras. Aha, the extra that we could get rid of because we don't really need it, which is that. And then extra two is... Ah, oh, a spoiler. Oh, I don't mind it. I mean, it's a very goofy style we've gone for here. I, th this is the bit I'm most unsure of, mostly because the color's slightly off and yeah, you can see that there's, uh, I guess these are the normals or something, but there's a little bit of line going on, which makes me kind of, yeah, I'm going to go with it for the concept of the look, but I don't particularly like this bit, but I do like this spoiler and I think the whole thing kind of goes together well, so I'm going to keep that. Let's take a turbo on, of course. I'm going to go for some neon lights as well. I'm going to go front, right, all of them on. Let's go for a, a red color as well. Then on the paint, what I want to do with this one is I kind of just want to go for... <gasps> we can two-tone it. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Even still, in fact, what we could do is we can go for something that's a bit more like the gray. That might be a better color. And then secondary color, matte gray as well. Because I feel like matte gray is more like the real true matte black. Yeah, you can definitely see some uh, issues with the normals here when you put it onto matte. And for the all blacked out look, I kind of feel like we have to go for... Oh, look at that. Removed grill. I think that's the one. Yes, look at that. Make it all nice and black. Really understated. So I guess we'll also go for some window tint as well. It's going to really darken this thing down. Look at that. Okay, the uh, inside is interesting. It's taken the rear seat out and, uh, well, it's, it, it's, it's interesting. So also, let's not forget, we do have some extra parts here. Vanity plates as well. What is this going to be? Oh, this is actually mirrors. Okay. 
So we have the stock, we have this one which is painted, we have the chrome, we have the classic, we have the bullet mirrors, ooh, we have rectangular mirrors, truck mirrors, sport mirrors, and tuna mirrors. Now I did want to go for the all black look which kind of rules out a lot of those retro ones but it's cool to know that they're there for future builds. I'm going to go for the sport mirrors because it makes them a lot smaller and so they don't stick out as much so that's cool. On the trunk we have the options of the woody trunk that will go very well with the wood panelling actually. Then we have the striped trunk. I could see how that would work in another build. We have the spare wheel. Okay. Okay, and then we have extra compartment. Huh. I feel like I've made like a really fun works van. It is, it's in, I don't know where I was going with this first build. I've got two clear visions for builds two and three. This one's a bit of a, well, just see how we go. That's kind of odd. It's kind of odd, kind of interesting. I, the thing is, is I do quite like how flat this back is. These two give it a bit too much going on that I didn't really want. I kind of wanted something really just like a complete slab. Slab, I think, is what I'm thinking. This is just a slab of car. Just a big block of black. Oh, we also have some headlight stuff on the front. Okay, so we have that. We have the, uh, oh, chrome surrounds. Black painted, chrome painted, chrome painted surround. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we can make it even blacker. So that's cool. We also have some uh, tail light stuff here. We've got the stock. We have painted tail light trims. Ah, because they were slightly chrome before. We also have those in chrome. We also have the retro covers. Or we have the bullet tail lights. They're, <laughs> they're, they're very bullety. Very bullety. I kind of liked this flat look we were going for, but I'm going to go for the painted one. Just make it even more black. Then on the doors, this is actually going to be a uh -huh, windscreen. We have visor, classic visor and vintage visor. I think classic visor is the one to go for here because there's no chrome or anything like that. Everything is black. Yes. It's just a shame that we have this compact wagon badge right here. I kind of wish we got rid of that because then it would just be a pure black, same as this shyster thing here. If we could have the option to debadge it, I absolutely would do. Interior colors. Oh God, we can make this even blacker. It was on dark steel or something like that or black steel. Let's put that to black. Dashboard color is actually going to be the lights and stuff. I guess we'll do that to red just to match with uh, the underglow. Onto wheels then. I'm thinking something retro. Well, on the wheels, I kind of wanted to go for the smoothie. But the problem is, is they don't have an option that is completely black. The only option we get is rod me up in solid color, which gets us this. If we're trying to go for completely blacked out, then I think... We're going to have to go for that. And then V-Stancer, because these wheels are looking a little lost. I mean, these ones are kind of never going to look like anything because they're hidden. But at least on the front here, I'm just going to bring this track width out like this. There we go. I don't think we need much else than that, to be honest. Well, there it is. The black slab, which does stand out because it does have underglow. Okay, so I've set this tonight to get the full feel of this car. And you can barely see this thing, even under the streetlights. I love this, actually. This is really cool. I mean, we don't even have to have the red glow. We can just have nothing and just make this so understated and just so invisible almost. Look at that. And there we go. We'll turn the headlights off to get even more stealth. Look at that. That's awesome. Well, I do have a couple of other builds in mind, so we should probably just jump in and do those so let's go okay so here is the second build and i wanted to go for basically something that was very socal something very surfy based this has definitely got a lot of air cooled things you'd expect to find moon eye stickers and stuff all over this car i've gone for the oval on the rear i've gone for full wood paneling i've gone for the stock grill just because i I really wish they had painted versions of the other slat ones because I probably would have gone for one of those instead. But I wanted the painted look, not the chrome. I've added a little bit of chrome. So I've gone for these chrome lights. I haven't really gone crazy with the chrome on this one. Uh, the only other chrome bits is probably there and these uh, bullet wing mirrors. The interior I have made cream. 
I've just tried to make this very fresh and sea-like and beach-like and surf-y. So I've gone for the surf blue as well, which I think complements it really great. And I've gone for the, uh, the tried and tested red smoothies with the white wall tires. And yeah, I've also gone for this front bumper that I, I thought it looked kind of cool. It's a little bit sporty. I know it's not entirely within the theme of the car, but I like the vibe. And I went for the tuna um, bumper on the rear as well. And I went for the bullet lights as well. And I think this is not a bad build. This is definitely a sort of, it's it's not supposed to be a crazy car. It's, it's, a, it's a surfer car. You'd stick your surfboard on there. You go to the beach, you have your cool surf look car, and then you go and surf. That's my style. It's basically for people that want to do this to a Beetle, but they don't have a Beetle. They've got a PT Cruiser, so they do that. <laughs> that's, the, that's the theme of that build. Right, one more build. Let's go. Okay, so here we are with the final thing, and this is not exactly the build I had in mind. I was going to do a hot rod style, and then I realized that that's kind of what this is. This is kind of a little bit hot roddy. I kind of wanted to go for a bit more chrome. And then I just thought, I, I don't need it. And then I went for this, which was retro. So I decided to go for this and tried to go for like a, a modern stancy look. I wanted to go for two-tone. And so I decided to go for red and white. And I basically went for this grill. I've gone for the tuna front bumper just to kind of modernize it. Give it a bit of a modern flair. On the rear, there wasn't really much I could do, to be honest. It kind of looks like an SUV in a way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I just went for the red painted surrounds on that. I went for the split window here for, I don't know, I just thought I'd try it out. And yeah, I went for these wheels, camber, and yeah, that bit on the side. And yeah, there is a modernized stance version of it. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below which one of these is your favorite. Is it the modern style one? Is it the surfer? Or is it this completely just matte black? gangster super i don't know <laughs> i don't know it's kind of hot roddy so let's just call it the hot rod van hot rod van well there we go guys that's it for this video if you've enjoyed this video please let me know by saying mega mall uh, and also by hitting that like button and hitting subscribe if you haven't already and that is it for this video there's gonna be some more coming soon so keep an eye out on the channel but until then thank you very much for watching I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.